Dear viewers, beware and behold, for there's a story being told about the cursed monkey's paw and his horrible flaw. As these pages unfold, there's a question for you. If you had everything you could possibly ever want, would you wish for more? And if so, what would you be willing to risk to have it? That's the dilemma with tonight's story and the decisions made therein. But you must remember this. The universe likes nothing better than to give with one hand and take away with the other. I really think I got you this time. Oh, yeah? You think you've beaten him this time, huh? Uh, you know, I don't think the Major's gonna be coming tonight. Clever. Check. I really don't think he's coming. It's mate, Grandpa, look. Hey, he's been coming to visit the past three years. He'll be here. Maybe you'll win the next one. India was quite an experience. Going to temples and visiting holy men and strangers. And magic. What's so special about it? This paw has a spell put upon it, and whomever has it is granted three wishes by a very holy man. He wants to show that people have an avid desire for gain and prosperity, but never realizing that it's not essential. We shouldn't attempt to change our fate. Give your three wishes come true. If you've had all three, what good is it for you? Why do you keep it? As a reminder. What do you think you're doing? If you don't want it, give it to me. George, this paw does grant wishes. No, I'm going to give it to you. But if you're going to use it, Wish for something sensible, not for something you don't mean to. I'm warning you. I wonder if I should have let him throw it in the fire. No, not likely. Besides, I wouldn't know what to wish for. <laughs> Seems to me I got everything I could ever Ever won. Well, Grandpa, why don't you go ahead and make a wish for us, huh? How about uh, $200? Mm. Well, I guess that couldn't hurt anything. I wish for $200. Ah! Oh, what happened? It twisted in my hand like a snake. Nonsense. See, it's stiff. You must have imagined it. So, where's our money? Well, I've had about enough for one night. I'm going to bed. You should go to bed also. Got work in the morning. Will you be home for lunch? I will. Good night. Good night. Oh, good night, Grandpa. It moved. All right. Good night, Grandpa. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Is this the White Residence? Yes. How 
May we help you? I come from Mall and Miggins, a factory where your son works. I'm deeply sorry to have to tell you this, but your son was in an accident. He got caught in machinery, and there was nothing we could do. We'd, we'd like to disclaim all responsibility in the matter and, and, and in consideration to your son's services, we'd like to present you with a considerable sum as compensation. You mean an accident? What is this? It's $200. <laughs> What you think you want may be more than you can handle. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> 